to be a better woman for a man of God. Ten reasons how to be a better, not bitter, better woman for a man of God. Now, a man of God is not a pastor. A man of God is a man that believes in God. So he become a man of God. You don't want to marry a sinner that will beat you, that will use you, that would abuse you. But you want a, a man that believe, worship, fear God. The first thing you do is prayer. Prayer still works. And stop looking, hallelujah, at the world for your for your husband. Prayer still work and stop looking and be available when he comes. Stop looking and be available when he comes. Number two, power is within your tongue. Yes, power is within your tongue. The Bible say that 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 that, that the tongue, my friend, uh, power is in the in the tongue, and they that love the fruit thereof, power is in the tongue. So that means you can you can speak in the scripture. Of those things which be not as though they are. Yes, power is a tongue, and they that love the fruit thereof. Number three, pressing is dressing, not killing, but make him come alive, not by exposing your nudity to kill your concept of who you really are. Pressing, my friend, is dressing, not killing, but making him come alive, not by exposing nudity to kill his concept of who you are as a person. Glory to God. Number four, you are not a property. You are you are not an item, but you are a jewel of God and wonderfully made. So you're not no property. You're not going up for, to be to be auctioned off. You are a jewel. You are wonderful and, and 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 created by God. Fifth reason, you are a prize to obtain as a bride, not just a girlfriend or a one night stand with a condom, but with a ring. If a man can give you a ring. He don't respect you. But if a man go to God, give you a condom, he just want a one night stand. If a man don't give you a ring, he don't want to marry you. But if a man give you a condom, he just want a one night stand and leave you standing so he can go to somebody else. Yes, my friend. Number six reason, you are a princess for a prince, not just a nobody. Yes, you are a princess for a prince, not just a nobody, but you are a princess waiting for your prince. See yourself as that. Don't see yourself as a girlfriend and you stay as a girlfriend. Even when you're married, you're still a girlfriend because you think less of yourself. Ten reasons how to be a better woman for a man of God. Glory to God. Number seven reason, you are a precious one with a diamond that's hidden in a vault of time to walk down the aisle. Now, that's the problem. You are a vault. That means that your body, glory to God, is a temple of God. Your body, my friend, is only available when you say I do. Because when my friend, when you get get married and when you go to the honeymoon, before glory to God, hallelujah, you enjoy the honeymoon. I mean when when the penis, my friend, hit the the, the hymen and the blood splattered, splattered, he become your own forever on earth. Hey, glory to God. I'm telling you, sex one-on-one, 
when glory to God, you get married and say I do, and then you go to you you make love, and when the, when the, when the, when the penis hit the, the the hymen and the blood splattered, it's a covenant you have made between you and your spouse forever until death do you apart. It's not to be experiments. Singleness is not about experiments. Singleness is death. But married is melody of the heart and soul forever on earth. Hey, glory to God. So if any man want to want to have sex with you, tell him that I'm a diamond for a vote. I'm waiting to put the combination on, which is when you walk down the aisle, that's the combination. Hey, glory to God. That's what they call a honey moon. You are the honey. And when you... And making love, the, the 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 moon is represent. Hey, glory to God, Hallelujah. Number eighth reason, hey, glory to God, you are a particular person, not a piece of meat to be humped and dumped and have a baby to be alone. No, that's not your purpose. Hey, glory to God, you are you are a pe peculiar person, a royal priesthood. Not a piece of meat to be humped and dumped and have a baby to bear alone. No, that's not the purpose of being a spouse. Hallelujah. Don't fall under category, I'm just his girlfriend. No, I want to be your spouse. And glory to God to, to, to bear this baby together. Because remember, men are the giver and women are the receiver. She bring home the bacon, the pig, she, which she was shown she was do, supposed to do that now. She bring on the, the eggs, he can fry it to make scrambled eggs or a boiled egg. Because a man is the giver and the woman is the receiver. He glory to God. Knife reason, all of these positive don't look at the news or read a daily report about marriage. Marriage in a in 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 in, in singleness or married into a cinema is just a myth. It's just Hollywood perspective. But God instituted marriage. God was the one that created marriage, not Congress, not your senator, not your government. But God instituted Adam and Eve in the garden. They were the first marriage couple. Glory to God. So if he can't put a ring on it, he don't belongs to you. A condom doesn't represent marriage. It represents a one night stand. If he give you a ring, that means that he, he respect your, your dominion. Yes, he got to give you a ring to rep represent your dominion on marriage. But if he give you a ring, that's respect. That's disrespectful. Hey, glory to God. Number 10th reason, see yourself as a prosperous wife for the future of a man of God. See yourself, my friend. You got to see yourself. Hallelujah. You got to see yourself through your eye gate. Glory to God. Not the eye gate. I'm talking about the spiritual eye gate. See yourself as being a prosperous, glory to God, virtuous woman in Proverbs 31. She was a prosperous woman. She was a virtuous woman for a, a, a man of God. Hey, glory to God. Don't be like Job's wife that say, curse God and die. But be the encourager to your husband. Hey, glory to God. So 10 reasons how to be a better Woman for a man of God, prayer. Number two, power. Number three, pressing. Number four, you're not a property. Number five, you are a prize. Number six, you are a princess waiting for, for a prince. Number seven, you are precious. Number eight, you are peculiar, peculiar priesthood. And number seven, be positive. Stop looking at the daily report or magazine. Hallelujah. And number 10, see yourself as being prosperous. 10 reasons, my friend. That's all you need is 10 reasons, 10 Ps to be a better woman for a man 
of God. And my friend, if you are available, your man will say, glory to God, I give you this ring as my token of how much I love you. And he'll give you a condom. That means he just want a one night stand with you. But you more than a condom. You are a precious gem or diamond ring. Hey, glory to God.